<laughs> Welcome to COVID Church at uh, Lake Whitaker. Lots of changes this year for all of us. And um, one of the things that they talk about is to be physically distant, which you all are doing naturally. Secondly, is to uh, try to limit your gatherings with people who aren't in your bubble to outside spaces. We're very fortunate that COVID's happened when it has, because if this was January, it wouldn't be so fun. Um, the third thing is that singing is one of the most problematic ways to spread this virus. And, um, you know, we're grappling with this as a church of how to do that. Um, worship without music is strange. <laughs> worship without music without singing is probably even stranger. Yeah. Um, I kind of think that if we're singing into a mask, that's probably not a bad thing. Yeah. Um, and we'll try and maybe we'll see what it sounds like as far as <laughs> recording it is concerned. Um, and you know, singing quietly is different than singing really loudly, <laughs> you know, as far as the spread of your, your droplets. So anyway, let's experiment together. Um, we're going to try to, I may be speaking a bit louder than I need to right now. There are booklets here if you want to grab one for your family. So we'll let you do that. And uh, most of us don't have words memorized, although maybe we'll have to get back to that as we uh, explore church in a new way. Okay, so Nancy's the one that chooses the music. Are you feeling and, uh, okay back there? She's going to tell you about our first song. So we're going to sing a kid's song, one of my favorite ones, called Joy. And as we were driving up yesterday and I was complaining about the weather forecast, Jim said that you can always have sunshine in your heart. Uh huh. So and you, and then you hit him. She said to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't record that. Yeah. That's not true. That's not true. He's making up stories. Uh -huh. I, anyway, I thought that was a lovely statement. So we're gonna sing. We're gonna sing about joy, about light, and about love. And it's and it's a repeat song, or or not a repeat. Uh, page is it on? And it's on page. Uh, what did I say? Six. Thank you, Sean. Uh, the what? Follow. Yeah, you're following after. So the one thing you can do is you can count from two to four. We skip one for some reason. And there is some clapping. So feel free to do both of those things. And if you just want to hear other people kind of singing or think about the words, feel free to not sing. It should be fine. I've got the joy, 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 I got the light, 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 I got the love, 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 And then on page eight, this is a song, a hymn that we sing in our congregation, 10,000 Reasons. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful hymn about um, how we bless the Lord in our lives. And uh, I, I always love the first line, the sun comes up. And well, we weren't necessarily, we didn't see the sun come up this morning, but I love the analogy. Um, mm. So bless the Lord on page eight. Nice to have you guys with us. This is our, kind of our church service. 
this yep. morning. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship Your holy name. The sun, oops. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing as the evening comes. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I'll worship Your holy name. Your rich love and you're slow to anger your name is great and your heart is kind for all your goodness i will keep on singing ten thousand reasons for my heart to find bless the lord oh my soul Oh, my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I'll worship Your holy name. And on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws near, and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years and then forevermore. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I'll worship Your holy name. I'll worship Your holy name. I'll worship Your holy name. Yeah. Sean, can you do your scripture? So, so our, our, Proverbs our, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you that the rain has stopped. And yet at the same time, we thank you for the renewal of rain and how it brings things to life. We ask that you would help us this day be mindful of all the different things that bring life to us. Be with us in this service. Help us to be mindful of those around us who are struggling and to be praying for them as well. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Okay. Okay. So Nancy and I were thinking about doing a song that maybe had some actions, not the ones that we normally do, but uh, a song that we learned most of us as children. So we're going to do some actions together. Shout 
Jesus. Okay. I, I think, think, no, no. Bible? One. God? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think you know what it is now. Let's see if we can sort of say the words together. You guys ready? Okay. Here we go. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones. To him belong. They are weak. <laughs> As straw. <laughs> okay, we'll do a check mark for yes. Ready? Yes. Jesus loves me. Loves me. Okay. Yes. Jesus loves me. Yes. Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Good job. Woo. All right, I'm up again. All right. Oh. Well, maybe. Okay. So, in church, we often have children's time. Now, you don't have to come forward. But this is the children's time, so you're going to have to help me with this, okay? Whoever have children here, we get children here. Okay, here we go. So, oh, let's see if I can do this. Okay, can you see the top? Everybody see the top? Okay. Now, what, what shapes do you see? A circle. Do you see any shapes? What shapes do you see? Any shapes? Triangle. Triangle. A star. Did we get them all? Square. And a square. Okay. So we got all these shapes? Okay. So what what's supposed to happen in this game? You ever played this game? What are you supposed to do? Oh, okay. So I've got all these things on the chair. All right. So there's my first thing. All right. What do you think? Is that going to fit? No. It's not going to fit? <laughs> ah, good. It kind of fits. Okay. It, it, Kind of fits. All right, so that one's not going to go. All right. I really like that one, though. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, what What shape is that one? Is that the star? Where should I put it? In the star hole? Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. And so... All these, this is also a star, right? Does it matter it's green? Doesn't matter if it's green, it'll still go in there? How about the blue one? 
The blue one will still go. It's not fitting. Oh, it's got to go in the star one. Okay, all right, okay. How about these ones? They go in the triangle. Which is the triangle hole? That one there, okay. Does it matter if it's blue? No, it doesn't matter if it's blue. Okay. Oh, I got I got a cowboy truck. Where's that one gonna go? Sometimes things fit when we don't think they're going to, right? Okay. <laughs> And then we got, I've got a red square, right? A red square, Levi's at a red square? Yeah. That's the red square, where does it go? Goes in that hole? Okay. Okay, Noah, where's, where is that one gonna go? Don't touch it. Oh. <laughs> I can't see it. You can touch it, Noah, I'm putting it in. Which, where's it gonna go? There. There's gonna go there, okay. What do you think? And gotta go in that square one. All right, so we got them all. Good. I still don't know what we do with this. What are we gonna do? We don't want to leave anybody out. Put him backwards. What else can we do? Take the lid off. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. It's cheating. It's cheating? What? <laughs> oh, well, you know what? That's kind of like what it's like with people. In that we see all kinds of people in the world. We have all kinds of people that we go to school with. And some of them are like school buses and some of them are round and sometimes we think well I don't that person just doesn't fit but God he loves everybody and God wants us to help people fit so sometimes it doesn't matter if they're green or red or purple they fit and sometimes we have to take the top off to help people to fit, right? And that's gonna be hard at school this year because there's gonna be so many different things happening with having to wear masks and sit in different places. It's gonna be hard, but God is always there with us. And God's gonna help us figure out how do we fit, all right? Whether I have a Mohawk haircut or not, I'm still going to fit, right? Okay. Do we have another song we yeah. can do? So I don't know whether you remember that uh, Cindy and Jim went to a lot of work back for Mother's Day and delivered, Cindy mainly, and delivered packages. We delivered packages to families. I think that was the first activity was for Mother's Day. Is that right? Um, or Easter? Maybe it was for Easter. No, Easter. It was Easter. Mom, Sunday, and Easter. Yeah. And so we had the privilege of being able to go and deliver some of those packages. And um, it really stuck in my mind when we went um, and uh, dropped off one package and we saw Hudson. And he said that he had been singing My Lighthouse a lot. And and I thought, you know, children have such wisdom. We, 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 we learn some, so much from children. And I thought, what a perfect song to be singing during COVID. Um, and uh, so it's become a little bit of a theme for me. So My Lighthouse, that's what we're going to sing. And I'm sorry, I do not know what page it's on. 13. Here we go. My wrestling and in my doubts 
In my failure, she won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa. You are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you home. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. Safe to shore. Safe to shore. I won't fear what tomorrow brings With each morning I'll rise and sing My God's love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea You are the peace in my troubled sea my lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you home. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. Safe to shore. Safe to shore. Can everybody hear me okay? Can everybody at the back hear me? Yes, 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 everyone can hear me. Okay, I'm blowing the speakers right out of the... the speak loud still. Okay, thank you for doing that. Uh, so, interesting things about when you prepare a sermon or figure out what songs we're going to sing or how are you going to put together worship. Uh, so much depends on what's happening in life. Now, when I was preparing today, I thought, okay, it's going to be pouring down rain during the service, and so I have to think about that. And now it's not pouring down rain anymore, so things have changed, which is, which is good. Um, and we, we're okay, Jim? Yeah. We're good? Okay. Uh, and then I got thinking about, well, what's worship going to look like in this COVID situation that we're in. And uh, next Sunday, we're gonna have our first church service in church uh, that we've had in a long, long time. And we're, we're trying to work through all what's that gonna look like. Uh, are we gonna have a sermon? Are we gonna have a, you know, is Daryl gonna preach? What's gonna happen? Uh, because of Daryl's medical situation, he's gonna do a video sermon so we won't actually be there, but it will be more of a sermon than we're kind of used to for a while. We'll have worship songs. We'll have a worship team, but they won't be in person. They'll be in video. We'll be sitting in pews, distance from each other, sort of like today. We could be wearing masks. We will be wearing masks when we come in the door. And when you sit down, you can decide I'm going to take the mask off. So as long as you don't talk, then you're okay. But if you're going to talk to somebody, you have to have the mask on. If you're going to hum along to the songs, well, that's you're going to hum along to the songs. And like we did today, we had some singing. Um, you have to be really, really careful about things. Because we're worried about other people and ourselves and then I so I was thinking well what's that have to do with preaching or talking or worshiping and all those kinds of things and uh, I brought along a few books and I got thinking why are these important to me 
in my Christian walk. And it's because it does the same thing that gathering together does with other people and sharing our life experiences as to how has God worked in our lives. I could become a hermit and I could go and I could sit out in the woods and I could just be with God. And many times that has happened in my life that, you know, I've been on a canoe trip someplace and I go out to a quiet spot and I watch the sun come up and I'll just feel God's presence there. But there are other ways to experience God. And some of them, it's really significant is praying with someone felt a mission to come to Hollywood to do movies that really showed how God was impacting people's lives. He didn't always play the good guy. Sometimes he played the villain. Uh, but he also always had some kind of story to it that was talking about how faith impacts somebody's life. Uh, and one of the interesting things at the back, they talk about you know, other things that goes on with him is he says, what does a movie star like David Oleo do on family night? We watch movies, right? We like watching kids movies. They start good conversations, okay? And they have children that are age 13, 10, and seven, and three. And that, they talk about grief after watching the movie Up, right? And what does that mean? And, you know, when somebody dies and how do you deal with that and all those kinds of things. The Lego movie brought up the whole idea of good and evil. And what do you do with that? We like that kids' movies deal with tough themes in a very human way. Uh... And then he says, we also like to read the best storybook. He talks about the Bible and the, and the stories that are in that. And we've done that in Sunday school and godly play and all those kinds of things. Those stories impact us. The same as stories today from other Christian people, they impact us. And so continuing on a little bit with my theme here. Uh, I'm just going to read a little message from James. And this was going to be more, this would be very fitting with the rain pouring down and we huddled up in here not knowing what's going to happen. Now we have the wind happening instead. All right. James chapter 1, verse starting verse 2. Consider it pure joy. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face many trials of many kinds, like a leaking tent or, he doesn't say that, but uh, a leaking tent or a rain or having to get up to go to the washroom in the middle of the night when it's pouring down, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. And perseverance must finish its work in you that you may mature, be mature and complete not lacking in anything. One of the things that I used to do as a young person was go on canoe trips. And we had this guy on our canoe trips that he would, he had been on, well, dozens and dozens of canoe trips. And he always had a very positive outlook on things. I mean, you could have fallen in the river and you're soaking wet and your stuff is falling out and you got to run to catch everything before it floats away and you throw it back on the riverbank and you're thinking, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? And he says, well, that's just one more test. We're going to see what's going to happen. And he says, and then he would say, well, the reason you go on things is so you can have a stress camping situation. And then the next day we'd have something else happen or somebody would put a hole in their canoe or 
they lose their paddle in the middle of the rapids and you don't know what's going to happen. He says, one more chance for that stress camping situation. Now, some of us who weren't really into stress camping got, got a little annoyed with this. But by the end of the trip, and you're aching and you're sore and you've got mosquito bites and you know you sprained your ankle or you've lost a sh